Let's go into the tropics now. We're going to incorporate this each and every day. Forgot to put the date date stamp on there. This will say 8 a.m. Tuesday. This is as of 8 a.m. on Wednesday. Still seeing a little bit of a hint of maybe some of that light brown color off the coast of Africa, and it does look relatively quiet off the western coast of Africa in the tropics as of right now. We move over towards the Caribbean and towards the Gulf. You can see there's plenty of cloud cover down over here over Central America. Maybe even seeing a little bit of a pulse of convection right there uh, just off the eastern coast of Mexico. Now, obviously, this would be an area that maybe would sprout some concern, but it does just look like it's operating off the heat of the day. Plenty of moisture right there over that corner of the Gulf. So it doesn't necessarily look like that is going to catch the eye of the National Hurricane Center. But if it is to get a percent chance of development, then of course we'll be keeping a very close eye on it as we haven't had any named storms issued so far in hurricane season. I know we're only about 18 days into the new season, but the Pacific has been quite a different story. You can see this down here. This is some definitive organization right here. Some spin associated with this cloud cover. This is Tropical Storm Eric. Yes, they are already on the letter E in the Pacific Basin. They've had storm after storm that has sprouted as maybe just a tropical storm, not necessarily too intense in nature, but Tropical Storm Eric over here just off the southern coast of Mexico is forecasted to strengthen into a hurricane. It may already be a hurricane. Haven't looked at the latest tropic up, Tropics update, and it's actually going to rapidly intensify into a Category 3 storm, I do believe, before it does make landfall in southern Mexico. So they are already having a very active season in the eastern Pacific so far. Thankfully, we haven't gotten that much of an active start so far, but areas down in southern Mexico, areas of Central America, definitely going to have some pretty drastic flooding concerns associated with this tropical system down there. A good amount of organization with it, and if it does get Category 3 status, it would be the first major hurricane of any hurricane season, whether that's the Eastern Pacific, the Atlantic, the Central Pacific. No one has gotten a hurricane or a named storm that has gotten to that intensity so far, and it's definitely going to have its fair share of impacts as it does kind of just move directly to the north, maybe a little bit to the northwest, going to impact the southern corner of Mexico right here. And of course, if it is the switch direction, move over into the Gulf, then we would keep our close eyes on it as well as that could have implications for maybe the Gulf Coast and starting to get a little bit too close to comfort. But right now, still not eyeing anything that's going to affect us tropics wise. We're going to have our typical summertime forecast for the next couple of days. And if anything was to form and try to take a beeline path to central Georgia, the good news is we have that front coming in from the north and the northwest. Should stall just to the south of us, that would act as a blocking mechanism for anything that would try to move north up into the northeastern Gulf right there. So pretty uh, inactive picture down here in the Caribbean and in the Gulf of the Eastern Pacific quite active. If we get anything that has a chance of development, then of course we'll be letting you know and we'll be putting out these tropics updates a little more frequently once we get into the busier time of hurricane season. But right now in the very beginning of it, it has been relatively quiet, actually very quiet so far. Only had maybe one area with a chance of development. So that's good news. Hopefully we don't get a historic storm like Barrel was last year, very early in hurricane season that reaches category five status, but it's something we have to always keep our eyes peeled out for, especially given everything that happened with last year's hurricane season. Hopefully we can try to keep this year's below average. So that's going to do it for your extended forecast today. Just plan on trying to duck and dive.